What day is it, man? Saturday, the 29th. I was looking at my watch. You want to show them what you built? Yes, I built the entire... You want to show what you First of all, thank you, Carissa, for the gift. Thank you, Carissa. Uh, Paul, I'm wearing my side flush shirt. Look at that. Yeah, side you side. are. That's funny. Paul enjoyed it for the first night, and the second night he half enjoyed it, and then after that, it was a no go. So we first built the little stage oh, yeah. where Jerry does his monologue. Oh, I get that. Oh, oh, that's my Jerry impression. Oh, oh. What's the deal with peanuts? Yeah, they're not exactly. from P. And they're not nuts. What's the deal with Fobaltine? Anyway. Here we are. Here's uh -huh. Elaine with her little goldfish. Kramer. We got Kramer. Kramer. Guess who even made it in? Look who made it in. Hello, Jerry. Hello, Newman. Newman. Yeah. I like that George has the, the marble rhino. Yeah, of course gold. he needs to. Course, I course. think my favorite thing that I built was probably this couch. This was so much fun to put together. Mm -hmm. Who should sit on the couch? Who do you want to sit? I think Elaine deserves to sit. Oh, on the, oh they can sit there? Yeah, make, sure, make sure Poppy doesn't sit on the couch. No, Poppy's not sitting on the couch. Poppy is sloppy. Oh, you just knocked over Kramer. Yeah, sorry, Kramer. Hold on. Let's see if we can put Elaine's on the couch. I'm sorry. V, do you want to say, hold on, I'm going to put you on speaker. Do you want to say hi to your fans? You're, yes. on, you're on YouTube right now, V. Say hi to your fans. <laughs> hi, fans. They heard, <laughs> they heard everything you said. No, they didn't. They didn't hear anything. Say. Mm. Say hi, fans. Where's my clock then? All right, so uh, love you, bye. Why is he a fake bye. martyr? Oh, because that's what he is. He's a martyr, but not for anything. He's a fake He's martyr. A fake martyr. <laughs> All right, so my favorite thing to build, where were we? You was, were trying to put Lay on the couch, but you were failing. <laughs> I failed. You were well, failing my, she could definitely stand on the couch. Um, my favorite thing to build was probably this couch and then the fridge. The fridge is a lot of fun to build, too. And she like the, the swivel? Chair oh, the swivel? Thing? Oh, yeah, here. I'll show you. You see this okay, chair? Yeah, there's a chair, it swivels in It there. goes up and down. And then there's also a light that goes up and down. That's crazy. And then these, this table moves. And then these chairs also swivel. It's yeah. very cool. It's very well designed. Yeah, they did great. I so. legit thought when I first opened it, it was gonna be like just pieces. Like, oh, here's a wall, put the wall. <laughs> Here's a couch. Yeah, I was like, it's gonna take us like three nights. And he's like, three nights? I thought like, it was like yeah. 10, 10 minutes. <laughs> but you have to build everything from scratch. It's, it's, yeah. like, it's like Ikea furniture. Yeah, we were doing the floor and you were not having a good time. I was done. I was done with the floor. That's it. All the more. doors open too. Jerry. Oh. I didn't realize there was that much room in his apartment. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I broke this light. Crap. The light's done. The lamp. Oh no. I have to go under. So apparently there's a home alone house like this. And it has oh, all the booby traps in it. See, that's cool. A little uh, I, mini I interviewed uh, the Hustle Hawk couple and it uh -huh. took them like a couple weeks to build that. Yeah, that sounds about right. That one sounds That one's impressive. huge though. I mean, this one was only 200 steps. This was like pretty, on the scale of like Only Lego. 200 steps? Yeah. On the scale of Lego, it's not that many. 242, yeah. 242. Can you Google how many the Home Alone house is? Yeah, let's see. How many steps? Let's Google it. Is this it? Home Alone? Yeah, then it opens up. It opens up. Mm -hmm. That is epic. Okay, let's see. Well, this wasn't helpful, guys. Maybe Home Alone manual. Look at that and just see what's in there. Oh my gosh, it literally opens yeah. up. Yeah. And like everything you have to build, every little part of it. That's amazing. Where do we get it? <laughs> yeah, this one, Paul, <laughs> is 17 bags. This was only nine. Oh, so it's double. Twice as, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much double. Dude, 200, the, the manual itself is 476 pages. This is only, this is only 196. What? <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah, that would take you quite a bit to build. Oh, for sure, let's do it. I'm ready. This is like a review of it. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah, of course, Mom. So you build the van? Yeah, yeah there's Mar. The wet bandits van. The wet bandits. This is so cool. You build all the rooms, and then all the rooms have the booby traps in them. Yeah, that is yeah. so epic. There's like a zip line oh, in the back oh, of the house. Oh, there he is. The train tracks? Yeah, Michael Jordan, yeah. Wow, that's epic. Yeah, so, wow. yeah, there we go. Build that one next. Sure. Usually you start with like the small ones and you work your way up, but this I guess is, we can just- Is this a small one? 
Yeah. Well, the small ones are like the the Lego flowers. Have you seen those? Yeah. Those are cool. Well, this that would take you less than this. No. Yeah, that would take me a day. I could do that. I could do the flowers in, in one sitting. This should be a small one right here. Just like, this. look at these cute little... But okay. See, Legos are basically puzzles, and you know how I feel about puzzles. You love puzzles. I love puzzles. Love be a good puzzle. Yeah. You guys send Vita your Legos. She, she will build them all. No. Oh, those are cute. Yeah. Forty-seven. Forty-seven dollars for that? Yeah. I know. Legos are so expensive. Sheesh. Oh, look at this. Mother's Day gift. It made great Mother's Day gift. I, I gifted would, it all. I would love to see your mom pair book. <laughs> Yeah, my mom was not. <laughs> but hey. But hey. My anniversary is coming up. Who wants to buy it? Yeah, if you guys, her anniversary is coming up. But she needs some Legos for her anniversary. Somebody mail them to me. Mail them. But only mail to her when she makes me my coffee. I've been waiting for her. Oh, I already told you. I've been patiently, you guys, look how much coffee I have left. I've been patiently waiting for her to refill me. Since she has a barista background. She has a barista background, so I'm waiting for her to make me another one. She's taking her time. I'm, On my way, baby. I'm slowly fading. <laughs> Get yourself a family that supports you like this. Look at these three. Watching themselves on my vlog. Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> Good footage. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, so they went again to another beach. Not really a beach, it's like a, a Port Charlotte. It's like a bay kind of thing to go swimming. My grandma's not a big fan of waves, so they're trying to stay away from waves as, as much as possible. Um, getting the dinner planned for us, so they bought some frozen patties. So again, those little defrosted. I just went to Publix and bought some bacon. They had bacon on sale. That was a buy one get one from um, was it Smithfield, I think, the brand. Smithfield. So I got some double thick, double smoke. And then I got some maple wood as well. So I'm gonna make some uh, bacon burgers for them. I just need them to uh, tell me when uh, they're heading out so I can start getting the grill ready and all uh, that. So that's the plan for today. Then after we have dinner, I have an interview for the podcast for the flip side. I have Ryan today, uh, golf course picker coming up. So that should be fun. So that's the, the plan for the day. Until they come back, I'm going to continue to list stuff that I bought from the PA 100 mile yard sale. Working on a bin right now. Just listed a bunch of the DS games that I bought, I haven't seen the DS's yet. Let's see all the DS games. Then we're gonna continue going through this bin with everything that I can list. So that's my new thing is um, I'm not picking and choosing what to list anymore. Especially the DS things. I'm grabbing a tote and I am not grabbing anything else until everything from that tote is listed. So that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm also gonna go, uh, cause I have a bunch of just like, Mist match totes that have lids, don't have lids out here on the little eye of my death pile. I'm gonna buy uh, 10 uh, totes at a Walmart or a DJ's, whatever is cheaper to have the matching lids. I'm gonna put all of my death pile stuff in there and all of my whatnot stuff in there. I'm gonna keep it separated like that so it looks like cleaner than it looks now. And um, it'll be the same thing once I'm done with whatever I have left to list. Uh, grab a tote of death pile and go through that. So when this whole, when my life eventually settles down, which might take a while, <laughs> at least a couple weeks after uh, FlipCon, because uh, I don't know what's happening there with my family coming over yet. I don't know what's happening in of August, but until at least that part, <laughs> uh, uh, when my life starts settling down and I can start listing again normally during the week, I am going to just grab a bin of death pile Bring it to my office and again, not grab anything else until that entire bin is listed and go um, go from there. That's how we're gonna uh, plan things. I think that's how I'm gonna keep myself uh, motivated and um, in control, I guess. So I don't have to pick and choose, just boom, boom, boom. And when I eventually, as I get my life figured out, 
uh, and and be normal here and let's say I go picking on a Saturday that Saturday I will have bins in the truck with me and I'll do the same thing go break grab a bin I'll bring it in get it listed then we'll do death pile bin and a new bin death pile bin and that's how we'll hopefully get both things narrowed down and hopefully that's why I say hopefully a lot uh, hopefully by the time when the fast season starts picking up again which should be around October so that's when I come back from the rally that's when it's hot season here again for yard sales October through like April Ho hopefully by then I have a good system and my dev pile is almost non-existent because I'm going to be buying a lot of stuff during the hot season. I don't want to just build up dev piles, build up dev piles. So that's the plan. So um, I'm going to continue the list. I'm going to continue the list. I, and right now I am listing and also the listing at the same time. So like I would list like 10 to 15 things from, from the 100 mile yard sale. Then I'll go and I'll end 20 listings that were stale on my eBay store, change the background, change the description, change the price, change the title, and list them onto eBay and then cross post them as well. So I'm doing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> but I think this is something that my store needs. And uh, like a sky, I don't wanna like sound like I'm beating a dead horse, but I am seeing results. I am seeing results, I'm seeing results. Just today alone I've sold ton of stuff with the new uh look i just, I just sold the Final Fantasy 6 item that i put a new background on i sold the video game earlier that i put a new background on. i sold a tape measure that i just that was stale and i just and i changed the background re uploaded it, it sold it for like 30 minutes and it's technology that i had here for a couple months already <laughs> so it's like i could see it working i can see it working uh oh that reminds me i gotta take a picture of the back of my hubcaps Somebody on Macari was interested in them. Uh, the Cadillac hubcaps, I think. This list is like 350 right now or something like that. So, gotta answer all the questions for that sale. <laughs> so that would be that would be a good sale if if if, if they want it. And I'm just cross posting on to, like I said, Macari and Facebook for now. Uh, not Facebook, Macari and Poshmark for now. Uh, I might do Facebook later on. But right now it's just those two. Uh, Tim did tell me to try Depop and Grailed. Depop for me right now is uh, something I should do, but it's not really a priority for me at this moment. But uh, now it's something I definitely need to venture into the future. But I might need like an assistant when it comes to that. Uh, here's the back of the hubcaps. Hopefully they're happy with that picture. Oh boy, guys, where do I start? First of all, it is Monday, I think July 31st, i uh, pretty sure. <laughs> um, I didn't record anything yesterday, which was Sunday. Um, it's Monday morning, I am exhausted. I woke up, I did my journaling. When way to get coffee. I'm gonna get coffee because yesterday was a crazy day, today's gonna be a crazy day. I'm, I'm meeting Mel tomorrow, super excited for that. But there's so much stuff that needs to get done before that happens. Let's talk about what happened yesterday. Yesterday was the last day for my family being here. Uh, we went to church in the morning. I took them out to a Chinese uh, buffet, the one, the one I told you guys about, Buffet City. The one that has the really good sushi um, selection for a buffet. Did all that, um, came home. I had to start working on uh, the main video for my main channel. Started doing that. They started getting ready, backing up to leave. I think their original flight was supposed to leave at eight. So that to leave like at six to go to the airport. But then the guy noticed that the flight got delayed. It went from eight then to like 10. And then I think it went from like 10 to like 11. <laughs> so, uh, they kept getting these delays during the day. They left for the airport. And then I think they're like out there from 11 to 12, from 12 to 12.30, from 12.30 to 12.50. And then I get a phone call from them at like nine something, it's like 9.30, because I'm, 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 I was live at this time. I was live with Ray on his flip or skip show on Sunday. And I get a phone call from them saying, hey, our flight got canceled. 
And they're in, they're in the Fort Myers airport, which is an hour from my house. They clearly want to go home. <laughs> so we're like, what the heck? What are we going to do? So I start scrambling, uh, like Amazing Race style, looking for new flights. I see that there's flights leaving the next day from Tampa at 9 a.m. to Philly. I'm like, oh, nine flights available. Let me try to book these for you. I pull, I pull their information in, put the credit card number in, and it's and it's circling. It's circling. I'm like, oh boy. I feel like I feel like everybody else that that just got canceled is probably trying to get these tickets right now. And after trying for like two minutes, it kept saying failure, failure, failure. I was like, oh man, somebody bought these tickets. They're no longer gone. So I find another one at 2 p.m. from Tampa, uh, also going to Philly. I think this one has like 18 flights available. I try real quick to put their information in. Again, same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. Can't do it. Now there's other ones. There was like United and something else that was that was leaving from Tampa tomorrow to Philly, but they were like almost four dollars a ticket, one way, and they want to go home, but not for four hundred dollars. <laughs> they could go home, so th that that wasn't an option. So I'm like, okay, let's try the train. There's, a, there's an Amtrak train from Orlando to Philly. That one's also like two hundred dollars a person. And I was like, what's going on? <laughs> so so originally, the, the people said, hey, like, your flight is canceled. We can rebook you on Tuesday. And they were like, but we have work. We have other things to go to on Monday. We can, we, we, we can't we can't we can't skip this. If Philly isn't available, I was looking for surrounding cities that people can potentially drive to and pick them up from. And there's a big airport in Newark, New Jersey, which is about a little over an hour from Philly, maybe an hour and 10 minutes from, from, where, from where we live. And they find tickets from Sarasota Airport to Newark at 6 a.m. today, Monday morning. And so I was like, oh, this is perfect. And I don't think other people were thinking about that. They were on the plane. And uh, so I got them. We got three tickets for them from Sarasota to Newark, leaving at 6 a.m. The only issue is they have no car. And <laughs> they're located in Fort Myers. Fort Myers is an hour away from my house. Sarasota Airport is two hours away from Fort Myers. And then Sarasota Airport is one hour away from my house. <laughs> and I was like, oh boy, this is going to be a fun day of... Fun night of getting everything worked out. But thankfully, everything worked out. They got to the airport. I think they got to the airport like around like one in the morning. Because I was like... It doesn't make sense for you guys just to go back to my house because you have to leave at like at three and go to the airport anyway. Just we'll just just go to the airport, sleep there, try to sleep there, try to figure it out. Uh, I got to notice. Good morning. Thank you for shooting Starbucks. Is there any breakfast we can start in the oven for you? Uh, no, thank you. Where can I get you? I have a mobile order. What's the name? Paul. Paul. Alrighty. I'm here and we're finishing it now for you. We will have another one. Thank you. Thank you. Mobile order Starbucks, guys. Good tip. Learning from gorgeous. So, uh, I, I, I go to sleep. Everything's taken care of. I get a text this morning from Vita saying that they're on the plane. It is delayed, but they're on the plane. Then I checked it. It left like at 6.47 a.m. So, they are currently flying towards Newark. So, thankfully, that got figured out. But that was just crazy. So, needless to say, I'm exhausted. Uh, I woke up at 8. I finished the video, because I didn't finish the video yesterday. I finished the video, titled it, thumbnailed it. That's good out today. That's all ready. Now, Mel's coming here tomorrow, and I don't really want to edit any main videos while May Mel is here. So, I have to have this Thursdays, and thank you. So ideally, I would need three videos edited today before Mel gets here tomorrow. And that is most likely not happening. 
three. I try. I did three videos in a day before. I took forever. So I'm gonna tell Mel, hey, one of these days that I'm with you, I I need like four to six hours to make this video, and I'm hopefully she'll understand. <laughs> the plan is to get two videos done today and to pack orders. So thankfully, we had a pretty good weekend with sales on eBay and sales on Macari and sales on Poshmark. So you gotta pack what's sold and do those two videos and I have a last night at 9 p.m. on my channel. I'll come to another issue. Before I left for the 100 mile yard sale, I ordered some bubble wrap from somebody on eBay. I used to order from Supply Hut but ever since the whole controversy with not getting what I was getting, I stopped ordering from Supply Hut. Order started one from somebody on eBay. Um, so I ordered uh, two of those 700 foot rolls, right? So I ordered those before I left for the 100 mile yard sale. I figured, okay, what time I come back from that? It'll be here. I'll have bubble wrap for a little bit. I get back from the yard sale. No bubble wrap. I message the eBay buyer. No response. So I'm like, okay. I don't know what's going on. Let me order from somebody else. And then, if anything, I have extra bubble wrap. You know, it's, 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 no, it's, it's, no, it's no problem. I need it, though. Like, I had enough for that week, but like I need it in the future. So... I ordered from somebody else, and the bubble wrap was due today from the second person. And I get to notice that he cancels the order last night at 9 p.m. I ordered it Monday. No, I ordered it Tuesday. That's like I ordered it Tuesday of last week. He canceled the order last night at 9 p.m. and refunded. Uh, and the person that I ordered from before I left still hasn't responded to me. So I um, canceled that order with him. <laughs> so long story short, I have no bubble wrap. <laughs> I have the bubble wrap right now. I, I ordered again from, from somebody that I ordered from in the past or on, on eBay. I found my, my last orders. So I, I have a lot of faith that this one's coming now. You should have done it in the first place. I try, I try to be cheap and save a little more. So the the person I get from stuff from, from the past, uh, I was paying him thirty five dollars free ship for seven hundred. I found this this new person on eBay uh, for thirty dollars for seven hundred. I was like, oh, five dollar difference. That's a, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> I so that's who I ordered from when I went to to the hundred mile yard sale, and he never. Um, never even respond to me. So I ordered from somebody else, which was $33 on Tuesday. So now I'm going back to my original guy that actually delivers the bubble wrap for $35. So, but that was not going to get here until, I don't know, probably like Wednesday or Thursday. So I had no bubble wrap. I Like I used my last roll on, on when I packed the orders on Friday. So I'm driving right now to Sam's Club. I'm gonna get a Sam's Club membership because I heard they have pretty affordable bubble wrap there. I'm gonna buy enough to get me by until this bubble wrap comes here. And then I also wanna get, I, I wanna redo my storage on my Lanai. Right now you guys saw me use um, just like extra totes that I had lying around and some of them had lids, some of them didn't have lids, and it just looked bad. It was a disaster. It was just not organized at all. I'm gonna probably buy like 12 or so right now containers with lids from Club as well, and just put my death pile in that so it looks neat and tidy, and uh, also have a couple for my whatnot stuff as well. And then the plan is to, I think I talked to you guys about this already earlier, the plan is to just, um, when stuff gets in here, if I can't list it, put it in those storage containers, put it put it out out there and have it there, and then just take one container in, 
bring it to the office and not start anything else until that container is done. So uh, that's probably what we're going to do. So, so, so we're going to go get these containers here as well. So that's the plan. So there we go. You guys are now caught up on how crazy my day has been, how crazy my weekend has been, how crazy my life has been. We're going to go to Sam's Club, get this membership, buy the stuff, come back, pack the orders, and then get started on our videos. All right, so once again, I'm proving on how I'm not the smartest person in the world, and maybe I should be checking openings before <laughs> driving somewhere. So it's 9.30 and Sam's Club is open until 10. And I should have checked this before I probably left and planned my whole day around this, this thing. So I have decided to drive down a little bit more and I'm at this place called the Hometown Grill. It has breakfast and lunch. So we're gonna go get breakfast. If you're gonna do that, we're gonna go get, get breakfast. And then by the time I eat, hopefully Sam's Club is open. All right, we are back from Sam's Club. I am a sweaty mess. You can hear the fan running. That could only mean one thing. And one thing only is that we're back. We pulled the orders. Now it's time to tell you guys about what sold. What sold over the weekend. We had a pretty good, we had a pretty good weekend. Pretty good weekend considering, uh, especially quantity wise. Really good weekend quality wise, not the best weekend. But we had 30 sales on eBay for over $1,100. And then we had one, two, three, four sales on Poshmark and two sales on Mercari. So 36 things go out the door. eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari all coming in. It's gonna be really hot in here because I can hear the thunder coming. So it's really humid. So I think it's gonna be about to rain pretty soon. So it might cool down in like 20 minutes. But right now it's very hot. So just. If you see some swag coming out, <laughs> that's why. That is why. Um, again, um, I know I not have new people watching every single time, so I have to keep saying this. So those of you guys that have been watching for a while, I'm sorry I have to hear the same thing over and over and over again. Again, I still get lots of questions about why I don't put a split level in here, and then the answer again is because it's a rental. Uh, and when I do eventually get my house, hopefully it's in about a year or two, I will hopefully, I'm looking for a house with a much bigger garage and then I'm gonna put a split level or even two split levels in there so that way I won't be a sweaty mess all the time. So, but until then I have to deal with this, which I will still deal with this rather than being in a warehouse in Pennsylvania. I'd rather deal with a little discomfort when I'm pulling orders to replace of being in the house in Florida. So anyways, that's the answer. So, uh, like I said, 30 on eBay. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Facebook. I started last night cross posting to Facebook. Uh, I've been uh, I've been seeing some of my friends post on Instagram that they're getting Facebook sales. So I quit on Facebook, but I'm gonna give it another shot. I'm gonna give it a go for about a month. I'm gonna cross post hard to it for a month. If I still see it's giving me no sales, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna stop. Uh, but you see, I started heavily cross posting to Mercari and to Poshmark, and I already see it's paying off. So. If Facebook will be like that too, it will be great. I love to see stuff leaving, especially old stuff leaving. A lot of the stuff that you see here, came from Pennsylvania, a lot of the stuff that you see here has been ended and relisted, has been uploaded with a new background, a new photo, and stuff is selling. So let's start with the other platforms first. Let's start with Poshmark. This is a Nike men's athletic jacket. This came from Pennsylvania, so I'm not sure uh, where, where I got it, but it sold for $20 on Posh. These Hey Dude sold for $25 on Posh. I paid two bucks for them here in Florida. These Pumas sold for 20 bucks on Posh. They came from Pennsylvania as well. And then also on Poshmark, I sold this book right here, Louis Penny Madness of Crowds. Sold for $10 on Poshmark. That book also came from Pennsylvania. So three out of the four Poshmark sales are old listings. Listings that came with me from PA Listings that I had listed for a while, listings that I've already been here for six months and they haven't sold on eBay, uh, but they all sold on Posh, so love to see it. On Macari, I sold a uh, Pixar Up video game, 
sold it for 20 bucks on Mercari. That was part of the three for 10 deals, uh, one of the yard sales here in Northport, where I, where I bought three video games for $10 and it sold for 20 bucks. Then I sold a TomTom Tom via GPS system. I don't remember where that came from. That also kind of came from PA for all I know. That sold for $28 on Mercari. So those are all the sales on platforms. Here we got a couple of viewer sales. Uh, should probably be more prepared and open your tabs, but I didn't because I'm not prepared. I am not prepared. But let me sing a song to distract you guys from the fact that I'm not prepared. And hopefully I will keep talking long enough so that I will be prepared <laughs> by the time it comes to talk about them. I'm almost there. I am almost got it. Got it. You guys didn't even know I wasn't prepared. See, Bruce fooled you guys. First, we have a sale to Daniel in Chatsworth, Georgia. Daniel bought this really cool mini Hot Wheels car for me. It's old things like 70s or 80s. Thank you so much, Daniel. And he said if I take his offer, he's going to send me back something custom made for me. I forgot what it was, Daniel, but hopefully that still happens. I'm excited to get it. Then we saw this Furby. It's really cool animatronic Furby. That Furby sold to... That Furby sold to Kent in Menden, New York. Thank you so much, Kent, for your purchase. Hope you enjoy that Furby. And then we sold two of these. Uh, we sold four total uh, of those magnifier jewelry glasses that came from the Amazon Palettes. Uh, two went to just a regular folk, and then two went to a viewer who name, which name is Loreen in Aloha, Oregon. Loreen bought something for me last week because. I remember that name, that's one of Vida, Aloha, Oregon. That's an awesome sounding city. And she bought two more jewelry things for me. So thank you so much, Lorraine, for your purchase. Continue on with the goods. I said I sold two more of these. Over here, we have a Sony digital camera. I think they came from the 100 mile yard. It's the last year in Pennsylvania, so I had it for forever. Fine, sold for $20. That thing ended real estate with a new background. Tape measure came from Fort Myers. I sold for $15 also ended and relisted with a new background this camera flash sold for twelve dollars came from pennsylvania also ended and relisted with a new background do you guys see where i'm going with these new backgrounds and how they're helping me get sales this thing i just listed this week that was said they came from the pennsylvania 100 by yard sale with kelsey um lady was selling them for a quarter each i had six of them I believe yeah i think i had six of them or eight of them i don't remember First one to sell, sold for 30 bucks, according to 30 bucks. Also, everything that list has a new background. J background, so also background. This Star Wars um, ornament, sold for $15. Uh, got it from Fort Myers thing for a buck. Also ended and relisted with a new background. Olympus digital camera, sold for $35. Paid a couple bucks for it. Also ended and relisted with a new background. <laughs> These mugs I got at the Flea Cross, Florida. Really cool um, mugs. I talked about this, I think, earlier last week when they sold. Sold for 30 bucks a pair. I have two more left. Also, we're ended <laughs> relisted with a new background. Fishing reel sold thing for 50 bucks. Uh, I paid up for it. I think I paid $15 for it, so not the greatest flip. But that thing was also ended and relisted with a new background. So was this video game right here that sold for $20. This Halo game sold for 10 and this carnage or uh, comic book sold for 30. this video game and the carnage were also ended and relisted with a new background i, I, I don't want to keep saying this stuff but you guys see how i feel like that is making a big impact on my sales the stuff is selling that was was still it wasn't selling earlier here we have some raggedy and dolls that i bought at the 100 mile at the 100 mile at the 127 with kayla i think i sold for 25 dollars um we got some shirts that came from pennsylvania this Pioneer shirt sold like 15. This Made All shirt sold for 12. This is a really good sale right here. This is, this is a Robert Graham Paisley 3XL shirt. Also ended and realized with a new background and I think it sold for $75. And another good sale down here. Uh, these are some True Religion men's jeans, size 44s. I bought those for two bucks or three bucks at Peaches to Beaches this year with Matt and Kayla. And those sold for $45. Uh, new Balance shoes came from Pennsylvania, sold for 20 bucks. Better Home and Gardens, bought somewhere here, sold for I think 28. 
these Beetle books sold for 12 were also ended and relisted with a new background. And the last set of my cards from the eBay buyout sold for $35 also were ended and relisted with a new background. Speaking of ended and relisted with a new background, <laughs> this Taylor May TI Golf Club was just ended last night, one of the last things they ended. And it's sold this morning. I, I relisted it with a nice little golf background. Oh yeah, background. It sold for like $30. This thing I had forever came from Pennsylvania. And then we sold another one of these for 90 bucks. You guys know about those. Uh, I got them from the big yard sale in Fort Myers. I think I didn't. And it's 750 on those. And they've been selling for 90 bucks. And I don't have any left. And then over here we have a couple more Department 56 stuff. I think these things sold for $15. The Fire Brigade. Then we have a big one right here, Victoria Station. And that one sold for 50 bucks, I'm pretty sure. And that came from the Department 56 buy, which we're already way, 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 way in the profit line. So there you have it, guys. That's all the sales. 34, 36, I think. 36 things total going out the door. Orders are packed all out the door. Got them done before my mail got here, so that's good news. I have one thing going UPS, which is the golf club. I'm gonna go check out, drop it there, then check out my PO box.